Hey guys, there's a different video for you. You know I like physics, math, and engineering. This one is engineering on a crazy house. A pool 27 feet high on the top floor. A migrating floor in the pool and a cantilever deck. We have a lot of work to do. Let's build a house. Chandra's digging the first scoop. Smile, you're on camera. It's physics, math, and engineering. Machine it, draft it, build it, test it, break it. Every time something new gets built, the entire world advances. Laying in bed at night, it's designing new parts, designing new suspension, designing new wings. I am building maybe my last house. I'm really excited about this one, but we got some interesting engineering and some of you said you would like to see this crazy idea I have of a 27 foot deep pool that starts at the top floor of my house and goes through three floors to the basement. And I like to do free diving. So we're gonna do a super deep pool, but for safety, I need to make sure that pool can migrate up and down so the- what? kids can come play and eventually grandkids can swim in the pool. So I've got to engineer a moving floor pool, 27 feet deep. And then to get the view I want and the deck look I want, we are going to expand off of a giant column of concrete for this pool, a big deck hanging out in midair and balance it on a kind of like a teetering concrete beam. It won't teeter, but I'm gonna set one post and then balance uh, over a thousand feet of decking suspended out in midair, 30 feet up. So we got lots of cool engineering on this one. To make this work and put a pool that high up, I have to make sure the footing isn't going anywhere. So, a anywhere. so we gotta put a couple hundred yards of footing and uh, we're ready to go. So let's get started. This is a little different. Normally I'm building airplanes today. We're gonna mix in building a house and we'll throw in videos of building airplanes soon to come. Let's get back to work. All right, guys, I'm super excited. We're digging down on this hole. We're about ready to get into water. Things are gonna be a little bit different from this point further. Right now, you can see we've dug down, made a big ramp to come in. The purpose for the ramp is multifold. I've got to get down all the way to bedrock. We did some sample digs, found that we go down through a lot of dirt, a lot of fill. I need to get past the fill dirt and get down into original load soil. But if I go a few feet further, I actually get down to a gravel bedrock, but that rock is almost two feet below water table. So that's gonna be a lot of fun, but I don't wanna build on any dirt. So we're gonna go ahead and do the extra excavation and go several four to six feet, depending on the part of the house. And I'm gonna go all the way down and find that bedrock. We're gonna be wandering around in water pretty soon. And then I'm gonna lay down a fabric geo mesh mat that is to stop silt from coming up from the water side up into the rock I've got to put down. So we're gonna put down, go find the bedrock, lay down a fabric mesh, double lap it, two direction. Then we're gonna put an engineer fill rock on top of that, bring it up in lifts. And I wanted to build a big ramp like this because I don't want to use just a small remote vibrating compactor. I want to bring in a great big road style compactor. It can compact deeper. Even though it can compact over two feet plus in lifts, I'm just going to go one foot at a time and have a big drive on road style compactor that can really push down. And we're going to bring up four to six feet of rock above the water line. And then we'll put a two foot footing on top of that. So we got a lot of work to do. We're going to get wetty. <laughs> We're gonna get really wet, really muddy, and back to work. <laughs>
All right, guys, this is a little different. Most of you have watched a lot of aircraft builds of mine. I do love engineering. My background started out in construction, commercial buildings, residential homes, building decks and gazebos, and then kind of grew from that point up. This was, brings me back to my grassroots, sitting in the dirt, tying rebar, building things, and I love it. And this is a unique footing. Normally a house may have 25, 30 yards of concrete. This house, just on the footing alone and not counting the walls, we're pouring over 200 yards of mud just to fill the footing and we got walls to go after that the walls coming off this big circle we're making go up 24 feet tall wait 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 whoa what the f this is the deep end of a pool that goes 24 feet deep that is on the top floor of this house. So two stories up, you'll be able to swim from the top through the main floor level, clear to the bottom with windows looking out into the yard. So this all happened because I got denied a permit for a house I designed here and putting a pool in the backyard. They had a proximity issue and pushed it back and said, you can't put a pool that close to a big river that runs through the backyard. With all things that sometimes are set back, like denied on a house plan, it actually turned out better because I'm more excited about building a pool on the second story. And this is the footing we need to pour to hold that pool all the way up. Well, <laughs> the height of that roof of that house next door. So I'm excited, let's get to work. Today we're gonna bring out a concrete pump truck, pour at least 100 or more, might go into two days. They're trying to get us another 15 trucks to finish all the pour today, but we'll see. So I don't know, we got a lot of bar to tie, so I'm gonna get back at it, back to work. All right, so this is the thickness of the footing. Typical on a house is usually 10 to 12 inches. We're almost 24 inches thick here, double mat bar. You can see two bars wide here. The walls are gonna be 12 inches thick. The reason these footings got so big is I'm taking this concrete all the way to the very top floor. There is a fan over the garage to give storage under the garage that's all concrete. Then we go up the concrete walls all the way to the top and then the concrete deck that is to the upper swimming pool. So it kind of got a little bit crazy, but it feels good to get the form stripped off and we're actually gonna start laying walls. So let's get back to work. All right, guys, we're getting closer about to the end of this part of the pool build. Pretty excited we got our water stop in. I still got to clean out around the edge and put another bead of sealant around the bottom of this water stop. This got put in the concrete while it was still wet. It's got all the teeth on it to make the water have to work around it. That's just one of several layers of water stop to protect this. So the bottom of the pool is right here. If you scroll up and look at that house right there, you can see that top window way up there. This pool where the water level is, is almost to the top of that upper window. So you're gonna need to clear 
your ears a lot to get to this depth. I used to do a lot of free diving, scuba, paddy and SSI. Um, I do scuba diving and search and rescue. It's gonna be fun to be able to kind of play with the kids and eventually grandkids and bring them down and teach them how to scuba dive in this pool. But we got a lot more work to go, but this right here is a 12 inch thick wall that will be built and water stopped as if it is the final pool, but it won't be. That's gonna be sealed and be completely watertight. But then the actual pool goes inside of that, which should also be watertight. So we got a 12 inch thick concrete wall. We will have windows all the way around the outer edge. So you can see in, you can see out. And on this end of the pool, there will be a high rised area that goes out by the fire pit that's on the end of that column. And it's uh, rather than doing a diving board, we're just doing about a three foot ledge around half of the deep end of this pool that the kids can go and flip and jump off of. So we're excited. We got a lot more work to do. This pool is gonna be a lot of fun. Of course, the bottom of this pool will change depth. We are gonna have a base that travels up and down so that if I do have young kids here, I'm not worried about a pool that's 24 plus feet deep. We want that bottom of that pool to migrate with the touch of a keypad and so the water will actually travel through that floor so that I'm not displacing water but I can bring it all the way up to a four foot deep pool use it as a sports pool or drop it deep and use it as a dive and jump pool so we got a lot more to go I hope you guys follow along there's a lot of interesting tricks we're gonna have to come up with to get concrete that high and a pool deck and a cabana and everything literally on the top floor basically the roof of my house so let's get back at it you guys know the drill let's get back to work